हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड रिडक्शन ऑफ इंटरफेरेंस ड्यूरिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी रीयूज इन कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम द कांसेप्ट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी रीयूज इज क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी रीयूज इज नथिंग बट रीयूजिंग एन आइडेंटिकल फ्रीक्वेंसी चैनल इन डिफरेंट सेल्स सो फ्रीक्वेंसी रीयूज इज नथिंग बट रीयूजिंग एन आइडेंटिकल फ्रीक्वेंसी चैनल इन डिफरेंट सेल्स रीयूजिंग एन आइडेंटिकल फ्रीक्वेंसी चैनल is limited by co-channel interference between the cells so this co-channel interference is a major problem for frequency reuse one way to reduce co-channel interference is to keep sufficient distance between two co-channel cells so here frequency reuse is limited by co-channel interference between the cell so this is the major problem that will restrict the frequency reuse so one of the way to reduce co channel interference is to keep sufficient distance between two co channel cells another way is to use directional antenna at base station and this process is known as cell sectoring so one way to reduce co channel interference is to keep sufficient distance between two co channel cells and another way to reduce co channel interference is to use directional antenna at base station and this is known as cell sectoring now let us see what is co channel interference co channel interference is caused by transmitting same frequency by two or more wireless systems that limits the frequency reuse there are different ways to reduce co channel interference first way is to use sufficient distance between two co channel cells second way is to use directional antenna at base station and third way is to increase the ratio d by r so d is the distance between two similar cells and r is the radius if you consider this diagram we are having cell a in this cluster as well as cell a in this cluster now if we consider the distance between these two cell so this distance should be sufficient to avoid co channel interference so co channel interference is caused by transmitting same frequency by two or more wireless systems so this will limit the frequency reuse there are different ways to reduce co channel interference first way is to maintain sufficient distance between two co channel cells so as you can see in this diagram we are having two co channels we have taken a as an example so we need to maintain sufficient distance between these two co channel to reduce co channel interference another major issue for frequency reuse is adjacent cell interference this is caused due to overlapping between two neighboring channel cells so this is caused due to overlapping between two neighboring cells there are different ways to reduce aci first way is by filtering the signal to be received and second way is by proper separation of adjacent cells so adjacent cell interference is caused due to overlapping between two neighboring cells so if there are overlapping between two neighboring cell it will cause adjacent channel interference there are two ways to reduce adjacent channel interference first way is to filter the signal that is to be received and second way is by proper separation of adjacent cells this is about reduction of interference hope you have understood the topic thank you